As part of efforts to improve the standard of education in both public and private schools across the country, educationists have called on the government at all levels to invest more in the sector by providing the enabling environment for we to thrive in this 21st century. They say the low quality of education stems from poor and inconsistent funding. Our correspondent Habila Dorofai's report is presented from our studios. Nations that fail to invest in the education of its younger generation tend to lack innovations and productivity, among other challenges. Speaking at the graduation ceremony at Sabo, Kaduna, an educationist and author, Ruth Godwin, said education is key to the growth and development of a country, saying that no nation can grow beyond the education of its younger generation. She condemned the rising number of out-of-school children due to insecurity and children molestation, urging the government to do the needful. However, parents were advised to give their children the best education as it is the sole legacy they can pass to the future generation. Education is the key to any society to grow. So the, the, the government should budget more on education, should make education as an, a, a state of emergency to make sure that the students, the learners, have a conducive environment, a safe environment by the security, make sure that there is good security for the children to be able to learn. Initrate is the best, is the, is the worst thing in life. Educate your children. Let them go to school. Being in anything that is happening in the world, please try and educate your children. They should go to school because you will learn a lot from there. There are moral instruction there. There are so many things that you learn from schools. It's not only teaching. Some of the graduating students expressed delight about moving to another phase of the educational pursuit. I feel so happy and excited. I advise them to pay their children's school so that their children can grow higher and be and be better people in their future. Trying to go forward in my education. Well, my call will be that they should try and pay my school fees so my education can go forward. I'd like to plead with them to stop domestic violence and to pay the school fees of their children in order for them to be educated and help them in future. According to UNICEF, 18.5 million Nigerian children are out of school owing to insecurity in the northern part of the country, among other issues. However, there is an urgent need to tackle the spate of insecurity to keep these children in schools. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.